everybody. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, I'm a little late to the game, okay? I don't always stay up to date on movies and TV and all these kind of things, but I just... Whoop! You didn't hear that. But I just, 30 seconds ago, finished up Season 1 of Stranger Things. This is going to be uh, just an on-the-fly kind of real quick review. Uh, nothing in-depth because... I would have to write that down. Not that my reviews are super in-depth, but you get the idea. Um, number one, the main standout character to me uh, is Winona Ryder. Uh, for me, she did a really excellent job. Now, of course, I'm not going to give away any real... Uh, any real uh, bits of the story but she does a really good job in my opinion probably the standout actor of season one not that anyone else was bad she just really did a really good job very impressed um, my first initial thought of David Harbour that's the first time I've ever seen him that I know of um, he does a, he does a really, uh, good job as well. He plays the sheriff, uh, and he does a good job. And just in the last episode or two, what came across my mind, which is something really weird, but would this guy not make a good Indiana Jones? I know, crazy. Um, of course, I don't want anyone else to play Indiana Jones, but I'm talking more along the lines of a son or a grandson, something along those lines. I know there's a lot of names thrown out there and Chris Pratt's all over the place. God, I hope he don't pick up the role. David Harbour, I believe, would make a good uh, family member in the Jones family. If you watch his character, listen to the way he talks, and some of his dialogue off just in season one, uh, and of course he's wearing a hat that is sort of similar to a uh, Indiana Jones type fedora. Um, yeah, anyway, I think he did really well, and I think that he could do really well at other things. Uh, the character that plays Mike, uh, Finn... Wolf, Wolfhard, Wolfhard, whatever, uh, the character Mike, uh, did a good job, um, he and the other character, Eleven, or L, uh, that you'll come to know, uh, they have a really cool connection, um, I, of course I don't know anything, uh, of the new season, season two and three, but I hope something ends up happening, uh, with them, I, I don't know. I'm not going to give anything away. You'll have to watch. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the character Dustin Henderson. Uh, that is a funny little dude. That is, I think he does a, a pretty good job at bringing some seriousness, a little bit of the brains, but also some of the comedy good character uh, Lucas Sinclair uh, these are their character names that I'm giving right now uh, Lucas Sinclair um, I think he does good as uh, a sidekick um, he's got a couple of good parts in there a couple of, a couple of laughs um, good stuff it's a, it's a real buddy uh, stand by me Goonies type of an adventure 80's thing that only we kids of the 80s really know about these characters and, and the producers and writers and directors all that stuff they did a really good job of bringing I think uh, the 80s uh, to a new culture I think they did a really good job and uh, the character Nancy Wheeler uh, she does well she does a good job Jonathan Byers, of course I'm giving you their character names. 
You can go and look up other stuff. He did an excellent job. He plays um, Wills. Is it Will? Will, 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 Will. Yeah, he plays Will's big brother. And he did a, he did a, a really good job in his part as well. Um, let's see. The character of Steve Harrington, played by Joe Keery, I guess. Uh, he did a good job at playing a, a jerk. I'm not going to give too much away, but he's kind of a, a jerk, but not a jerk, but a jerk. And then a reformed jerk. You'll get it. You'll watch it and see. And there's a few other characters. One of the main characters the whole story, season one, is based around is the character Will Byers. I'm not going to give you any information on it. I'm just going to say everything is about him. Uh, this is kind of a sci-fi uh, sci-fi kind of a I don't know <laughs> it's it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting show so far um, now do I think it's perfect no uh, I, I felt kind of like the story kind of drug out a little bit by the time I got to about the sixth about the sixth episode I kind of felt like things were kind of drawn out a little bit too much and I was kind of really wanting the season to come to a close so so it could just kind of I think it would have wrapped it up a little bit better but I mean that's just a small nitpick uh, the set design the the characters um, everything about the show so far really demonstrates a lot of what the 80s brought and uh, I think they did a real good job now I don't think that this has a long life uh, these kids are growing up quick I mean they're already on season three and there's a huge difference in them uh, just from some of the pictures that I've seen so this is not one of those shows that can go on for too long because these young kids that are right for the parts are gonna become these uh, teenagers and upper teens and in 20 some of the characters and they're gonna be they're gonna be too old and it's gonna look weird so uh, I, I think this the show has a short life uh, I know they've done three seasons now I, I really don't think that it would go past five and I honestly think that they better shoot season four and five back to back because the kids are growing up that quick so Anyway, this is just kind of a real unorthodox, quick review, right as I finished it up. I mean, it's still on the computer screen here. Uh, just finished it. So, if you haven't seen Stranger Things, I recommend giving it a go. And it's a nice ride. Uh, it's got some really good parts. It, it keeps your attention. And I can't wait to go ahead and uh, start Season 2 which I'll probably do tomorrow. I'm not going to do it tonight. So everyone, I appreciate you watching. I haven't done a review in a long time, but I thought that I'd bring you this in real quick. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. I do all this for free. No monetization, no ads that I'm aware of. So guys, don't forget. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. Because stranger things have happened. We'll see you later.